CEM Planner, Module 1, Lesson 1. Module 1, Objectives. Upon completion of this module, trainees will have the basic understanding of concepts surrounding CEM Planner. Attendees will have the knowledge to self-register for a user account within CEM Planner. The user will create a folder on the desktop. Trainees will have the basic understanding of the universal user tools. Lesson 1 Objectives Upon completion of this lesson, trainees will have the basic understanding of concepts surrounding CEM Planner. What is CEM Planner? It's a virtual planner. This software was designed by county and state planners and the company Prevastar had created the program. It's designed to be a user-friendly software to produce an EOP with a unique and accurate for your specific location, entity, or agency. Some of the benefits are that there's no cost to the end user. The maintenance expenses are all handled by Pima. Makes the job of writing and maintaining your plans a lot easier. And the accessibility of CEM Planner for all users is one of those benefits as well. Who can use the software? All state agencies, counties, the regional task force, municipalities, schools, hospitals, and government agent organizations within the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. If you receive any type of federal or state funding, it's kind of the, the auspice that you want to fall under for who can use this. Private companies or corporations cannot use this tool for their own use. The types of plans that are currently entered into the program are municipal, county, and the state emergency operations plans. The DEP dam plans for all three categories. Radiological plans and school plans. These plans are currently stored on state servers. There's multiple backup systems in place for these plans to ensure that data is not lost. And one of the main things is users can access this system at any time, as long as they have an internet connection. How are these plans secured? Well, the plans are tied to user accounts that are tied to an email address. Every user has their own specific login, and we don't like to have general logins for large groups because then we can't tell who the individual is that was actually editing the plan. The system administrator for your entity will decide the level of access and editing capability each user has for that plan. All actions that are done within the system are logged and stored. Sharing your plans with other stakeholders can help reinforce those partnerships and even build new partnerships. In most cases, this plan sharing takes four mouse clicks to complete. The technology requirements for use of the program are an internet connection, an email address, a PC with Microsoft Windows, a PC with full version of Microsoft Office or Word, Microsoft Office 365 is supported, and Apple products are also supported, so you can use Macs for this system. The time required for this training is about two and a half to three hours for each module. There are three modules to help with the flexibility of this. We also provide eight hour one day trainings of all three modules and eight hour workshops where the Pima staff is available to go through and on site to help those. This isn't teaching CM Planner in these workshops. This is actually a setting to where individuals or groups of individuals come in and work on their plans and that way Pima personnel are available if there are any additional needs for the group to help do this planning effort. Now to get a hold of Pima you can contact us here and Ready PA 